Hello everyone, so now I am going to discuss about uh, lactation nutrition, ok. So in this uh, lacta uh, like a mother who is lactating, uh, her nutrition is as important as breastfeeding, ok. Because here she is, she is producing so much milk with our proper techniques of breastfeeding, she is waking up every hour or two, you know, she is using lot of her energy, you know. So we want to make sure that she gets a good amount of uh, nutrient dense food in her diet. Uh, and uh, you know in this tutorial we have shown uh, what is a requirement for uh, protein and energy and you know uh, what kind of food that we recommend. Of course in this we have added some galactagogues. Now in my personal opinion if you ask me you know if you start actually teaching about the proper technique of breastfeeding and if baby is able to completely emptying those breasts you know even if mother was say uh, slightly undernourished uh, mother baby was growing leaps and bounds. So, they grow pretty well you know they are they are like parasite ok. So, just uh, you know of course focus on protein and other nutrients which are required for mothers. Uh, lactation uh, you know we have again even in non veg recipes we have added some galactogogs. Uh, some of the galactogogs like moringa powder you know uh, methi uh, those definitely has some uh, effect you know. Uh, but uh, as I said uh, you know tell mothers that even if she does not have any galactagogue, she will have beautiful baby as long as she focuses on the technique and emptying, complete emptying of breast, ok. So more she empties, more milk she will get, ok. So that is important. Uh, another thing about uh, lactating, uh, lactation nutrition is uh, many times you know uh, uh, mothers ask if she can have satavari powder, if she can have that powder, if she can have this powder. Normally I do not uh, kind of in the beginning I am not to uh, negative about it you know because whatever the culture is I mean that is ok. But uh, what I try to bring that focus uh, on is on uh, latching ok, latching and complete emptying. So just uh, you know uh, you can slowly then once baby starts gaining weight uh, you can tell them that you can stop shatavari or whatever powder and she can just focus on the proper latching and then she have a relaxation that relaxation is really really important for the mothers ok. Uh, so that is it enjoy our tutorials thank you. Welcome to Spoken Tutorial on Vegetarian Recipes for Lactating Mothers. In this tutorial, we will learn about importance of nutrition during lactation, preparation of vegetarian recipes such as mixed sprouts chila, garlic flaxseed and sesame chutney, peanut spinach and fenugreek cutlet, pearl millet and amaranth leaves muthiya, sprouted fenugreek seeds curry. During lactation, a mother requires additional amount of nutrition for milk production to provide enough nutrients for the growing infant and to maintain mother's own health. Essential nutrients required during lactation are protein, vitamins, minerals, omega-3 fatty acids and choline. Additionally, Sufficient iodine and vitamin D intake is also essential because iodine helps in the making of thyroid hormones and growth and neurological development of infant. Hence it is recommended to include iodized salt daily to prevent iodine deficiency. Similarly, vitamin D is essential for healthy bones and calcium absorption. The best way to obtain vitamin D is exposure to sunlight between 11 am to 3 pm for 15 to 20 minutes. After essential nutrients, we will now discuss about mother's diet. It is highly recommended to include different vegetables daily. Vegetables contain essential nutrients that help in building immunity. They are also good sources of antioxidants and they reduce the risk of diseases. Although all types of vegetables should be eaten, over here we will discuss a few only such as capsicum, spinach, 
cabbage, cauliflower, amaranth, pumpkin, carrot, fenugreek leaves and brinjal. Besides vegetables, we will learn about galactogogues. Galactogogues are substances that help in milk production. Mother can get it from diet by including garlic, fenugreek seeds and leaves, fennel seeds, garden cress seeds, drumstick leaves, dill leaves and carom seeds. Other than vegetables and galactogogues, mother should drink 2 to 3 liters of water daily. She should have a glass of boiled and cooled water before every feed. After learning all that is important for lactating mother, we will start with the preparation of recipes. The first recipe is mixed sprouts chila. To make this chila, we will need 1 cup mixed sprouts of Bengal gram, green gram and moth beans, 3 green chilies, 3 cloves of garlic, half onion, half cup gram flour, 1 tablespoon curd, salt to taste, half teaspoon curry leaves powder, 1 teaspoon garden cress seeds powder, 2 teaspoons of ghee. To prepare garden cress seeds powder, roast 1 tablespoon of seeds on low to medium heat till they change color. Allow the seeds to cool. Now grind them into a powder on a stone grinder or a mixer. To make sprouts, soak green gram, Bengal gram and moth beans overnight separately. Drain it in the morning and tie them in a clean muslin cloth. Leave them in a warm place to germinate for two days. Please note, moth beans may take longer time to germinate compared to green gram and Bengal gram. So plan your recipe accordingly. After the sprouts are ready, make a paste of sprouts, garlic, chilies, curd on a stone grinder or mixer. Now add gram flour and water and mix it well. To this mixture, add chopped onion, salt, curry leaves powder and garden cress seeds powder. After all this preparation is done, heat 1 teaspoon ghee in a pan, pour the mixture and spread it. Cook the chila on medium heat until both sides are cooked. The mixed sprout chila is ready. In case the pulses mentioned in this recipe are not available, then you may use black eyed beans, chickpeas, horse gram, soya bean, whole red lentil, and kidney beans. Please note duration of sprouting depends upon the type of the pulse and weather conditions. This recipe is rich in protein, fiber, omega 3 fatty acids, folate, magnesium, zinc. The second recipe is garlic, flaxseed and sesame chutney. To prepare it, we need 3 tablespoons of flaxseed, 3 tablespoons of sesame seeds, 5 garlic cloves, 4 red chilies, 5 to 6 pieces of soaked tamarind, salt to taste, half teaspoon oil or ghee. First, roast sesame and flax seeds separately. Allow the seeds to cool. Next, heat half teaspoon oil in a pan and fry garlic and red chilli for 2 minutes. After cooling, mix this with the seeds, add tamarind and salt to it. Make a paste on a stone grinder or a mixer by adding water. Chutney is ready. In case sesame seeds are not available, you can also use one or a combination of the following. Shredded coconut, peanuts, black sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. This recipe is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, folate, protein, fiber, zinc. The third recipe which we will learn to make is peanut, spinach and fenugreek cutlet. To prepare the cutlets, we need half cup peanut powder, 2 tablespoons gram flour, 2 tablespoons wheat flour, half cup spinach chopped, 1 fourth cup fenugreek leaves chopped, 1 tablespoon coriander leaves, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, salt to taste. 
वन टी स्पून सीड्स पाउडर यू कैन यूज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेसेमे और फ्लैक्स सीड्स वन टेबल स्पून लेमन जूस वन टी स्पून गार्लिक पेस्ट फोर स्पून ऑयल टू मेक पीनट पाउडर रोस्ट हाफ कप पीनट्स इन अ पैन टिल दे चेंज कलर एंड अरोमा रिलीज अलाउ देम टू कूल देन रब देम इन बिटवीन योर पाम्स टू रिमूव द आउटर कवरिंग ग्राइंड देम ऑन अ स्टोन ग्राइंडर और अ मिक्सर टू अ फाइन पाउडर नाउ एड पीनट पाउडर एंड ऑल द अदर इन्ग्रीडियंट्स इन अ बोल Using little water, make a dough out of it. Divide the dough into four portions and shape it into cutlets. Heat the tawa, add some oil, cook each cutlet on it till they turn golden brown on both sides. Peanut cutlets are ready. You can eat these cutlets with lemon pickle or gooseberry chutney. The vitamin C present in the lemon will help in the absorption of iron present in the cutlets. This cutlet recipe is rich in protein, iron, folate, good fats and potassium. The fourth recipe is pearl millet and amaranth muthiya. To prepare this, we need 1/2 cup pearl millet flour, 1 small onion, 1/2 cup amaranth leaves, 1/2 teaspoon turmeric powder, salt as per taste, 1/4 teaspoon drumstick leaves powder. 1 teaspoon red chili powder, 1/2 spoon mustard seeds, 1/2 spoon cumin seeds, 2 teaspoon sesame seeds, 1 teaspoon oil. In a bowl, take the flour, onion and amaranth leaves. Now add turmeric powder, lemon juice and drumstick leaves powder. Mix them well. Knead a dough out of it by adding water little by little. Apply a little oil on your hands and divide dough into small portions. Shape the portions into cylindrical rolls. Steam the rolls in a steamer for 10 to 15 minutes on low to medium heat. Let the rolls cool and then cut them into circular pieces. Now heat 1 teaspoon oil in a pan. Add mustard seeds, sesame seeds and cumin seeds. Once they crackle add the mutia pieces saute the pieces till crisp the pearl millet and amaranth leaves mutia is ready in case pearl millet is not available you can also use sorghum flour or finger millet flour this recipe is rich in protein phosphorus folate iron fiber beta carotene and potassium The last recipe we will see is sprouted fenugreek seeds curry. To prepare this, we need one cup sprouted fenugreek seeds, one medium onion, one tomato, salt to taste, one teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon lemon juice, one teaspoon mustard and cumin, one teaspoon oil. To make fenugreek seed sprouts. Soak fenugreek seeds in water overnight. Drain the water and tie it in a clean muslin cloth. Set aside for 2 or 3 days till they sprout. To make the recipe, in a pan heat some oil, add mustard and cumin seeds and let it splutter. To this, add onion and fry till it changes color. Now add the tomatoes and cook till they turn soft. Next, add the spices and cook for 2 minutes. To this, add fenugreek sprouts and 2 tablespoons water. Mix well and close and cook for 6 to 8 minutes. Turn off the heat and add lemon juice. The sprouted fenugreek seeds curry is ready. This recipe is rich in protein, fiber, phosphorus, calcium, iron and omega-3 fatty acids. Fenugreek sprouts are excellent galactogogs. All the recipes in this tutorial are rich in nutrients which are required for milk production, growth and development of the baby and keeping the mother healthy. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining. Welcome to spoken tutorial on non-vegetarian recipes 
for lactating mothers. In this tutorial, we will learn about importance of nutrition during lactation, preparation of non-vegetarian recipes such as chicken curry with drumsticks, chicken in peanut garlic masala, fish coconut curry, mixed vegetables curry with egg and fish spinach curry. During lactation, a mother requires additional amount of nutrition for milk production to provide enough nutrients for the growing infant and to meet mother's daily needs. Essential nutrients required during lactation are vitamins, minerals, omega-3 fatty acids and choline. Besides nutrients, we will learn about galactogogues. Galactogogues are substances that help in milk production. Mother can get it from diet by including garlic, fenugreek seeds and leaves, fennel seeds, garden cress seeds, drumstick leaves, dill leaves and carom seeds. Please note, nutrition for lactating mothers has been explained in another tutorial of the same series. After understanding the importance of nutrition during lactation, we will begin with the preparation of the recipes. Let's begin with our first recipe which is chicken curry with drumsticks. To make this, we need 100 grams of chicken, 2 pieces of drumstick, 1 sprig curry leaves, 1 teaspoon black pepper seeds, 1 chopped onion, 4 cloves garlic, salt as per taste, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon chilli powder, 1 green chilli, 1 handful coriander leaves, 2 teaspoon oil. In a pan, heat 1 teaspoon oil. To this add onions, garlic, pepper and green chilli. Saute till they turn golden in color. Now add curry leaves, coriander leaves and fry for 2 to 3 seconds. Cool them and grind it into a paste by adding a little water. Next, pressure cook or boil drumsticks until cooked. Heat 1 teaspoon oil in a pan, add the prepared paste and cook for 2 minutes. To this, add all the spices and chicken. Now add half cup water and mix well. Cover and cook till the chicken becomes tender. To this, add the boiled or pressure cooked drumsticks. Let it cook for 2 to 4 minutes. Chicken curry with drumsticks is ready. The second recipe that we will learn is chicken in peanut garlic masala. To prepare this, we need 100 grams chicken, 2 tablespoons peanuts, 5 cloves garlic, 1 tomato chopped, 1 onion chopped, half teaspoon turmeric, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 2 teaspoon oil. To prepare peanut garlic paste, roast the peanuts on a pan on medium flame. Stir them continuously to avoid burning. Allow them to cool. Rub roasted peanuts between your palms to remove the outer cover. Now, in a pan, heat 1 teaspoon oil and add onion, tomato and garlic. Fry till tomato becomes soft. Allow them to cool. After cooling, mix this with peanuts. Grind it into a paste by adding little water. Heat 1 teaspoon oil in a pan. Now add peanut garlic paste and cook for 2 minutes. Next, add the spices and mix well. To this, add chicken and cook for next 2 minutes. Now add a little water. Mix well. Cover the pan and cook till chicken becomes tender. Chicken peanut garlic masala is ready. The third recipe is fish coconut curry. For this, take 100 gram rohu, half cup grated coconut, 4 red chilies, half teaspoon turmeric, salt as per taste, 4 cloves garlic, 1 small lemon sized tamarind ball, 1 onion chopped, half teaspoon fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon oil. In case rohu is not available, then you may use any one of these. Mackerel, pomfret, 
or Bombay duck. Clean the fish, add 2 pinches salt and leave it for 10 minutes. Dry roast red chilies, fenugreek seeds, cumin seeds till they change color. Grind the roasted ingredients along with coconut, tamarind and garlic into a paste. In a pan, add 1 teaspoon oil and heat it. Now add onions and fry till onion becomes golden. To this, add the ground paste and cook for 5 to 6 minutes. Add the spices and mix well. To this, add marinated fish and cook for next 10 minutes. The fish coconut curry is ready. The fourth recipe is mixed vegetable boiled egg curry. To make this, we need 2 boiled eggs, 2 florets cauliflower, 1 medium onion, 2 french beans chopped, 1 medium tomato chopped, half small capsicum chopped, 1 tablespoon sesame seeds, 1 teaspoon chili powder, salt to taste, half spoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon poppy seeds, half teaspoon garden cress seeds powder, 1 tablespoon oil. Dry roast sesame and poppy seeds in a pan, allow them to cool. Next, add half teaspoon oil in a pan and saute tomatoes. After cooling, grind the tomatoes and seeds in a mixer or stone grinder. Heat 1 teaspoon oil in a pan, add onions and fry till they become golden. Now add tomato paste and cook for 5 minutes. Add salt, turmeric, chili powder and stir well. To this, add some water and vegetables. Cover and cook till the vegetables become soft. Cut the boiled eggs into two halves and add it to the curry. Cook for a minute. Mixed vegetable boiled egg curry is ready. The last recipe that we will see is spinach fish curry. To prepare this, we need 2 pieces salmon, 4 to 5 leaves of spinach, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon flaxseed powder, 1 teaspoon ghee or oil, 1 handful coriander leaves, 1 teaspoon lemon juice, 1 green chili, 1 teaspoon garam masala powder. Wash the fish pieces, rub some salt and turmeric and keep it aside. Wash spinach thoroughly in water, boil water in a pan and add spinach to it and cook it for 5 minutes. Next, strain the water and let it cool. Grind the spinach, coriander and green chilli to a paste. Heat 1 teaspoon ghee or oil in a pan and fry the fish until cooked. Simultaneously, heat 1 teaspoon oil or ghee in another pan. Add the spinach paste and little water and let it cook for 5 minutes. To this, add the spices and mix well. Now add the fried fish pieces and cook till the masala coats the fish. Add garam masala and flaxseed powder and cook for 2 minutes. Turn off the stove and add lemon juice. The fish spinach curry is ready. All the above recipes are rich in protein, vitamin B12, good fats, iron, folate, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium. These nutrients help in growth and development of the baby, milk production in mother and keeping the mother healthy. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for joining.